Hey Salaam everyone, this is Dr. Zainab and today's topic has to do with mindfulness. Now, have you ever started driving and then you're driving for 30 minutes and you've reached your destination but you have no idea how you got there? Or maybe you had some free time before picking up kids from school and now you're just scrolling on your phone and 30 minutes later you're like, oh shoot, I'm late. To go pick up the kids from school. These actions are all related to being mindless. So like driving mindlessly or uh, mindless scrolling. Now what we have to do is we have to be more considerate and conscious of the things that we're doing. Most of the time when we're going through our day our thoughts are either in the past or they're in the future. Now, we're either dwelling about things that have happened in the past to us, we're kind of feeling down about it and rethinking them in our mind, or we're worrying about what the future is gonna be like. Things that haven't even happened yet or might not ever even happen, but we're worrying about what if, and what if this, and what if that. So these are all places that we don't wanna be in. The reason why is because they're taking away from our happiness, they're causing stress, they're causing anxiety, and they're making us at some times even feeling down or depressed. Now, what if we start living in the moment? We start living in the present and we're more aware of things around us. This is called mindfulness. Being mindful um, and implementing mindfulness in our lives means that we are living in the present. And the fun part is, this is a basic human ability to do. It's not something that we have to learn. We don't have to really uh, read books on it. We just have to gather the thought process and make the habit of implementing it. So being aware, being present, um, not letting thoughts wander in and out of our head. So when we're consciously living, we're implementing the concept of mindfulness. Okay, so what are some of the benefits of mindfulness? One, it improves our cognitive ability. What does that mean? Cognitive ability is our ability to think, to have a clear mind, to not be fogged up. Second, it actually helps to slow the aging of the brain. We're actively present now. We're not stressing about the past or the future. It's actually slowing down the aging of our brain and keeping it consciously active. Also, it's decreasing our stress, anxiety, and even in some cases, depression. And this also helps with the overall sense of being happy. Also, uh, the quality of life improves. I'm able to better sleep. I'm able to better take care of my emotions and feel less fatigued. Now, how can I incorporate mindfulness in my life? The best part is, like I said, it's something that's innately there in the nature of human beings that we're able to do. The problem is we're so busy in this technologically infused world, we forget to take time out for ourselves. We forget to think about where we are at this moment. Either we're in a uh, uh, in social media land, seeing where other people are, um, seeing what other people are doing, what they're eating, or we're so busy in our hectic lives that we forget to realize where we are right now. Um, so that's, that's one way that we can incorporate mindfulness is to be here, be watchful of what we're doing right now. Now, as a Muslim, the best thing about mindfulness is that we're already doing it. If we're practicing Muslim, we are mindful of a creator, our maker. We are mindful of Allah. 
the other thing is uh, doing dhikr. So when we're when we're thinking about Allah, when we're reminding ourselves of His presence in our life, we are being mindful. And also prayer. We have five opportunities to implement mindfulness throughout our day and keeping a connection with the love. Um, the other important way that mindfulness is recommended throughout all cultures is through meditation. And there is, there is an Islamic meditation as well as just general meditation. And the way that we do meditation is to just close your eyes, consciously be aware of where you are be aware of your body be aware where your hands are so you close your eyes sit down straight in a chair in a relaxed posture feel where your hands are feel how your feet are touching the ground feel how your stomach is and then you breathe in and you feel each breath feel your stomach and your and your uh, lungs and your body moving up and down with the motion of the breath and then you release and exhale and you feel each moment and and feel that sense of relaxation these are all moments of being mindful now one thing that happens all the time is our thoughts start straying away when we're when we're meditating or doing our adhkar or doing our prayer or salah our thoughts start drifting and then we start thinking about oh what am i going to cook for dinner oh i have to go do this and i have to oh shoot i forgot to do that and instead of that you have to make sure you consciously bring your thoughts back now these are ways that we consciously do um, mindful meditation or techniques now how do we unconsciously do it meaning when we're not when we're just doing things around uh, when I'm with the kids, I'm consciously present. I'm not scrolling on my phone and talking to kids at the same time. It's not fair to them and it's not fair to me. Um, also, if I'm driving, uh, I'm consciously focusing on driving. Either I am uh, conscious about my thoughts or I'm uh, conscious about what I'm doing, what kind of turn am I making. Uh, or if there's something I'm listening to, I'm consciously listening to that instead of just drifting and having my thoughts stray away. So if, you know, I want to focus more on having a mindful life. So we're going to be making more videos on mindful living as a Muslim, as a woman, as a mother, as a, you know, as a couple. So those are all areas that we can implement mindfulness in. And I hope that inshallah this is helpful for you and you can start living in the moment and not stressing about the past or the future. And with that, catch us for our next video. We're gonna have some great tips on how to uh, live in the now. Assalamu alaikum.